Hey guys, it's Monday and all the roads are closed. We actually got a warning this morning, uh, probably around 9, the police, uh, I guess OPP and Simcoe County have closed literally every single road in the area. And uh, so I decided to stay home and uh, instead of going out to shoot a video, uh, stayed home, did the Mr. Noodles video. I'm not sure, I think that's Chinese. I don't think it's Japanese. It looks more Chinese kanji than Japanese kanji, if I even said that right. And it was called the hot, uh, hot and spicy, hot and spicy Mr. Noodles. Got that shot. I uh, just about to upload it. I forgot to turn my computer back on. It just makes a bit too much noise right now. So, did I turn it on? Yep. And Sam was hanging out with me, and it's funny when I start setting up the walls and stuff. Sam thinks. Uh, it, it's it's treat time or something. Oh, did I say the T word? I'm sorry. Did I say the T word? T? Do you like tea? Do you like the trees? Tree. I said trees. I didn't say the other word. You're a good boy, Sam. Yes, you are. Nope, you stay. You st relax. I'm sorry to bother you. Maybe I'll have to get you a treat now, right? No. My fault. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have gone there. Usually he just tilts his head. Tilts his head. I was wondering why you're not saying the actual word. See, these these are his treats that are called rollover. Comes in like a big salami kind of thing. You, not not suitable for human beings. <laughs> and those ones are getting kind of dry. We're also on the uh, the raw food plan for Sam. Um, I'm not sure if you guys do raw food for your dogs. Uh, we do. I don't have like um, one that's thawing in there, but check that out. Ew. Yeah. So I don't have um, an actual. Well, there's the rollover. Hang on. So this is the rollover for Sam. Carol's wrapped it up until we need to cut up more. If you cut it up too soon, then it's goes all hard like the ones you saw. So those ones are on it their way out. But Sam ate them anyway. But uh, yeah, someday I'll show you the raw food package. I can't remember what company it is. Anyway, so I have to now edit that video and get it out. It's uh, about 10 to 1. So I'll try and edit that video. It's, probably, it's gonna be an easy video to edit. So I'll probably, uh, probably within an hour I'll be done. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday morning, about 10 minutes before 8, I am at the eye clinic, Clarity, to have my right eye looked at by a retina specialist. Got here 10 minutes early, which is good. Actually, it's 12 minutes early. So there's a Tim Horton sister on the corner. Maybe we should grab a coffee before we go in. Uh, and then after that, uh, we will um, grab breakfast. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I need to do... The um, McDonald's ghost pepper starts today. Ghost pepper McChicken. Um, Got to get that done. Edited for tomorrow. Because Carl should be coming tomorrow. And Thursday, last two days working with Carl. And the fishing shows. And they're all done and wrapped up. And it's gone. Uh, we're also going to try this year. We've been talking about this for five years. Uh, this year we're going to try really hard to edit his shows as he shoots them when he has a down day. So when it comes to the fall, like we didn't start doing any of these shows until December or late, um, late November, early December. And it's, it causes problems, uh, and the fact that, you know, weather um people get sick and uh things like that so it just drags it drags it drags it out and uh, i can't make any plans uh, i really wanted to go to orlando in february but um i don't have any time to do it because things just keep getting pushed uh if we knew that was gonna get pushed may have may have gone last week anyway Long story short, let's get in there and get my eye fixed. Hopefully they can they can do something. But some of you guys uh, are leaving awesome comments about eyes because you either work uh, in a, an eye clinic or you just know a whole lot about eyes, more than I do. So thank you very much for all that inside information. Um, I'm hoping I don't get, I'm not, I guess the only way they can fix this eye maybe is with laser. I don't know, we'll find out. 
Uh, so let's go talk to the specialist and see what's going on. Yeah, I'm doing an, um, the retina oh, specialist. Okay. It's a, a different doctor. It's a but, doctor Bob. Right. Okay. Just got the drops in my eyes, so I'll probably be uh, hanging out at Tim Hortons for a while if the uh, drops are what I think they are. medications like uh, cortisone skin creams or puffers for asthma? Um, I did a cream for a while. Imagine that. Um, it's less common to happen with a cream, but it can certainly happen. So there's a known link between any kind of steroid medication and this sort of thing happening. Okay. Um, it doesn't mean a steroid necessarily caused it per se, because both of your eyes do have um, a certain feature that means you're more predisposed to this kind of thing happening. Um, but still, if steroids are, are being used, it may set it off sometimes. So okay. um, it will get better by itself. 95% or more of these get better by themselves, but it can take a couple months sometimes before things are really better. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, it's so bright out here. So the doctor says, uh, I have the type of eyes that might continue to get this problem, but it should go away in two to three months and it'll be like a gradual go away. It won't like be, I will wake up one morning and it'll be boop, all, be all better. I might not even notice that it's gone because uh, I might get used to this and then over time it just slowly tapers off and goes away. But right now both of my eyes are dilated so I'm not going to drive. Uh, I'm just going to walk over to Tim Hortons. I'm not sure. I should have brought my, my sunglasses. I don't have like clip-on things for these things. These are supposed to get darker uh, in, uh, when I go outside in the bright, I'm glad it's not brighter than this, but this is still really bright. Um, uh, and if it doesn't go away in two to three months, then they will do some laser surgery type things where they can, I guess, reduce it and get my vision back to normal. Uh, and the two things that cause it are steroids and stress. So he said people have busy, stressful lives. I wouldn't say my life is too stressful, but um, that's possible. And then I also had, you know, that, that itch on my arms and my, my sh back and my shoulders. Uh, there was a cream that I used and that had steroids in it. So um, there's always side effects to, to drugs and it is possible. He said he's, he's not putting it up to anything. Uh, he can't really put, put your finger on it, but he says there's a few things that could cause this. And I guess, like he said, there's three things. So it's steroids or stress and plus, and the type of eyes that I have. I'm so lucky. So let's go get a coffee and a breakfast sandwich and sit back, relax, probably for like an hour. Let's go. Breakfast biscuit with a large sausage. Uh, sausage. Sausage. Okay. Um, yeah. So the sausage biscuit, breakfast biscuit, the hash browns, and a large uh, double double. Please. Okay, that's everything. Six seventy-five, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thought it sits somewhere. A little bit further away from a, a window. Because it is very bright out there and my eyes are extremely sensitive. I'm gonna eat this up, relax for a bit, and then uh, I guess I'll do the McDonald's on the way home, maybe Bradford. 
it's now 20 to 11. Um, my eyes seem much better, but I'm going to do a roll up the rim right in front of you guys. See if I won. Please play again. Not good. I'm kind of hoping I win a car. Made it back to Newmarket and I figured that would be the best place to do a food review. My eyes are still a little bit sensitive, like I can see everything's fine, they're just, everything seems to be a bit bright uh, for me and I don't want to necessarily be squinting all the way through this food video so I uh, dropped by Henry's and bought a few things and uh, hopefully I'll show you what I bought and why I bought it. Um, yeah, and I, I just need a couple extra little things for when I go to Cuba and Japan and I hope you guys like it so I'll try and show that to you by the end of the day but right now we've got to go to McDonald's and shoot this video I'm hoping my eyes get better <laughs> faster so again I'm not squinting through the video we'll see let's see if I can do it let's go vlog people that was a strange one uh, about halfway through the camera died and I don't know why I don't usually uh, run out of battery on this camera unless I'm shooting a lot of stuff on the day and I didn't sh I did shoot some stuff yesterday I'm, I'm combining yesterday's vlog and today's vlog into this one but uh, I don't know I just I saw that it was there's an orange symbol on my monitor and that, oh shut it off shut it off and uh, I'm like, well, what is that? Why is there an orange thing? It shouldn't, the sh battery shouldn't be dying, but it did. So I have to stop everything, and then, I got lots of napkins now. Stop everything, get out my camera bag, grab one of the other cameras, throw the old, older camera's battery into this one. Luckily, that was charged fully. And uh, yeah, we can complete our day. So it's always good to have backup stuff with you. I even have backup batteries for these lights nowadays. So uh, that's all I'm going to vlog for today. We've got to get home, edit this for tomorrow. Carl's coming tomorrow, which is Wednesday and Thursday. And uh, hopefully uh, we wrap up all Carl's stuff in a nice tight package and get that out of our scheduling of the day and then from there forward we'll see what we can do for making some more awesome vlogs i'm really glad you guys like the uh, the ice fishing one let's keep searching around uh all the towns and stuff the events and things try and find things that i can share with you guys like that uh not necessarily on a daily basis because i really want to make my vlogs that next level kind of vlog where i maybe vlog all day make a really epic vlog and then the next day edit it all and then put it up on the third day and then on the third day go out and do another vlog so if i uh, i'd like to ask for anybody anybody's help who lives in that southern ontario and i do have a lot of people who follow me on this vlog channel in the southern ontario if you know what an event is happening and you guys all of you guys a lot of you guys send me uh invites to like uh, facebook things that are happening around town in Toronto and, and Oshawa and Kitchener and, and north of here and all over the place. Uh, I have to pick and choose if I have the time, but I really appreciate you guys doing that. Sending me an email, letting me know would be great as well. So uh, thanks for all your support and all your suggestions. Uh, I got to get home and get this done. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.